Hi. I'm going to throw a mug today. Just your standard large over um, indulging sized coffee mug. I actually gave up flavored coffee for Lent, so I'm really craving a good uh, Highlander Grog coffee right now. So making a mug, I don't know, does that make it worse? Probably tempts me even more. So I'm centering it right now. My arms are braced on the basin and my head is leaning towards the clay. So all of my energy is focusing forward. So I'm pushing all the clay forward towards center, inward towards center. Hence the term centering the clay. While it's centered, now that it is centered, I'm going to keep my arms braced. My hands are still wrapped around the clay. One thumb pushes the other thumb in to make a little divot. Then I'm going to rearrange my hands a little bit. My right hand stays on the outside of the clay. My left fingers force their way in to make the well nice and deep. And I'm watching as I do that so that I can see how deep I've gone with the goal of leaving about a third of an inch of clay at the bottom so that it's not too thin. And then, just going to straighten the side a little bit. I kind of call this my little cheat. I straighten the side a little bit so that it is easier to pull up. It's also easier to pull when the, the wheel is going slower. I can feel a little, little bit of a jiggle in the clay, so I'm going to take it easy and not get too ambitious with my pulls. A lot of potters don't bother to center all the way, and obviously I didn't do that today. And it's not a problem. You can still make a decent pot. I'm going to soak that water out and make another pull here. try to do every important move on the exhale. So I take a deep breath and then on the exhale make my pull and that's when you're going to have or that's when I have the most success. I feel like I'm more focused and steadiest when I'm moving on the exhale. You see that little bit of a jiggle, but when this is sitting still on your kitchen counter, that jiggle isn't going to show up. And again, another big pull. All on a gentle exhale. Sometimes I have to take a pause and take another breath and then continue the pull. All right, I'm gonna smooth this lip a little bit. I like to make a crease or a line, I should say, by turning my finger around, just to add a little definition. That's a great spot to cut the glaze and add um, decoration. It's a nice clean line. And I'm just going to define and clean up with one more smoothing pull. And again, that was all on the exhale. I use my super extended slurry extractor, otherwise known as a sponge on a stick, to soak out any excess water. See how I'm braced? My, el my right elbow is tucked in and my hands are connected so that I don't bump or move, you know, uh, move without intention in the wrong direction. There we go. So that will work. That'll hold a lot of coffee. Oh, I see water on there. I'm gonna get that off. There we go. And now I'm going to quickly pull a handle. I normally wouldn't 
pull right away. I would normally wait until the mugs are drier. But this is how you pull a handle. You take a cone shape of clay and it's got to be wet. And I use the, the skin right here, nice and wet, to smooth each side. Okay, and then re-wet and do it again. And when it gets to the point where it's about the right thickness, I'll use my thumb and do a, sm a pull with my thumb down in the center to define where I'm going to hold that handle. That's how I'm going to hold the handle when it becomes the mug handle. And my thumb is going to rest right there. So now I'm going to smooth that out. There we go. So that's a nice handle there. But of course, this one is too wet. It has to rest for a while. So I will use the handle that I've already pulled a few minutes ago. And I always eye up the mug to decide where it would best be placed. If there's any unevenness, I, I make it coincide where the unevenness is because then the handle takes your eye away from any unevenness and pulls it to the handle. So I've got my handle over here. And of course the mug is sticky and tacky because I've just made it, but with gentle, gentle application, I can be very careful and just put it on and leave it be without over touching. I'm always telling my students to only to put it on gently, put it on gently. Don't touch any more than you need to. Right now I'm scoring and slipping so that I can make a good connection. And this isn't leaving fingerprints, so that's how long it's been drying. It's uh, a nice pliable clay, but firm enough that I can touch it without leaving fingerprints. So I'm going in and I'm pressing. You see that good connection? I went, I went in and pressed together, but now I'm not going to over touch. I'm going to leave that be and line up the handle, cut off some of this excess. We don't need all that thickness down here. Line it up. That's going to look great. Score and slip it on. And what I can do is I can put my finger down in there or I can use the squeezed out sponge on a stick and give some resistance. Press a little bit. There we go. So that's a nice attachment. That is nice and secure. I'm not worried about that at all. And you can see that the mug is still soft, but it's taking the handle really, really well. And all I'm going to do when this is a little drier, I'm going to take a wet brush and smooth a little bit just to erase those lines. Thanks for watching.